In this tutorial for 411 Fit Coaching Edition for Health Professionals, I will be going over the nutritional timeline report for a client. Remember to access client reports, click on the client from the client main page. Then select from the drop down to the right of their name, Reports. The nutritional timeline is the first report in the nutrition category. This is a very unique report that allows you to truly analyze your client's food habits. Here you will see the default report is total calories by fat, carbs, and protein. The resultant graph breaks down those three components for me day by day. I will show you in a minute how to configure this report to look at different data. As I scroll further down, I am able to then look at the raw data for total calories from fat, carbs, and protein. Note next to any day, there is an icon to view the daily activity report for that day if I'd like to look at the details of the food eaten by that client. Do note also that we highlight weekend days with sunglasses. These are often days where clients tend to have different nutrition or maybe don't log nutrition like this client. As I scroll down further, it's going to break it down by total grams of fat, carbs, and protein, and finally by percent fat, carbs, and protein. I'm going to scroll back up and show you all the options that you have for this report. Click on Configure Report. You will notice a drop down for the report display. Here you have the ability not just to look at total calories, but you can also look by meal type for each one of the variables fat, carbs, protein, and sodium. You can also look at averages, again by all three, but also by meal type. Let's, for example, look at fat by meal type. I can change the block to go day by day, by week, or by month. Let's keep it by day. Let's update the report to stay with the same time frame. Note that I can change the frame to be as long or as short as I want it to be. Click Update, and the new report appears. Here I'll see a breakdown of total fat by meal type that is logged for this client. Notice the client is logging breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner. Here I can try to note trends where the total fat by meal type is significant. Again, as I scroll down, I will be able to look at that raw data and also will be able to look at the daily activity report for that day. If I would like to look at this report for a different client, I can simply click on the client drop-down and select that client. Remember that the report parameters will all stay the same. I will still see total fat by meal type for the same date range that I had specified for the client previously. If I'd like to save this report and share it with a client, I will click on Save Report. Here I can make any notes necessary and then decide if I'd like to share the report with the client or not. Do remember once you save a report, it will always be found on the Report Home page in the Saved Reports section. To get back to the Report Home page, simply click on Reports Home. This concludes the 401 Fit tutorial for Nutritional Timeline.